In this video I'm going to show you how uh, to import PCF to StreamBIM. I have started out uh, with a Solibri file where I got a couple of issues detected. I made a report and basically what we've done is go through the model check, uh, different aspects of that, and capture that. So if we, uh, for example, take this door where there's an issue, obviously, Yeah, it detects that it's not enough space in front of the door, but we can see that also the door is not uh, exactly fitting in this uh, opening here. So if we make a solid here, everything on, and we'll try to make this transparent, you can see the door is moving even further in, into this wall. And here is actually also a junction box um, inside the distribution panel. Um, anyway, let's uh, start with this uh, door issue. Uh, we go here, uh, select position, and then into communication. So we add a new issue, and call that uh, door. Wall. and then go back uh, to the model and we can also add this issue here this box here so add a new issue Okay, so now we got um, four issues here, and we're gonna report this uh, to BCF. So you see here I selected uh, version 2.1, which is uh, the version of BCF that we support in StreamBIM. I'm gonna save the report, call that BCF demo 2. Save as. Moving back to StreamBIM. Uh, to import PCF, you need to move into Capture Pro uh, module and select one of the workflows that you want to uh, import PCF to. So now I got a workflow called Project Inbox, where I previously imported the two um, issues that I had. Expand the view of the issue management. And to import, choose the list view. Now, when you have the list view of the issues, Import PCF is uh, on the same menu as the exports that we have. So I import PCF, select the BCF zip file that you exported from Solibri, and you will go into a, say a, a wizard in the import here. As you can see, there are two issues here that have been identified already imported, so there is no change. If there was a change or an update, it would say new comment. These topics we just created, they are new. Uh, and you should walk through them maybe from the top here and then either publish or discard. As you can see, what you get here is uh, the title and you also get the description that you got. So this is uh, who created it, the, the issue in uh, Solibri. So now I'm going to publish that. You can also add labels and assign that to uh, people and set due date if you have those kind of access rights in, in this workflow. So I publish this, I publish this, and no change, which is, I guess, okay. Cancel that. I will see that now I've got four issues and all of them are imported from uh, Solibri. Uh, if we move to the 3D view, so when you select one of the issues imported, if we do the one on the door, you will see you're, you're taken to the same 3D position, you have the same uh, viewpoint, and you have uh, the photos from 
solid ring uh, attached. Um, if we move into Solibri again and we do an update to the 3D view, let's spin this a little bit around. Maybe a look from a different angle here. Maybe make it even smaller here. This will be an updated view uh, and we can and update also the 3D view here to reflect is new. We save this again and report again. Save demo three. Save report. I can capture. Expand view. Choose list view. And then import VCF. And import a VCF zip file. We just exported from. Solibri, and you will see that now it's identifies no changes to the three past, but there's a new comment on this one, new topic. So the new updated image is identified as a comment. And if you post that, and we move back uh, an overview here, you will see that this topic here it's got a new comment here updated by me and so both images updated photos whatever will be added as new comments if you update but you will have uh, all everything tracked uh, as of from the start so that's how the bcf import works in uh, streaming